Before, guys, before we, uh, before we actually colorize anything, can I gather all of your attention, please? Thank you. Um, before we actually start colorizing anything and making this thing look good, um, we have to actually make our assemblies. So we got a little bit more boring stuff before we do the more fun stuff. All right, thanks. I appreciate that effort. Um, so, what's that? This is already colored, is it? Uh, no. Why go blinders? Is that green? Oh, yeah, no, there are green lines, but the building oh. isn't colored. Like, you can't see, a, it's almost like a colorized version of the elevation. Um, so, anyway, uh, so we got to kind of set up these assemblies. And I, I noticed some of you already started setting up a few, but we're, we're going to go through that process together. Um, really, it, there are only two primary types of exterior wall assemblies, so that makes it really easy on us. The challenge is going to be how it's colored, because I have no idea what this building actually looks like in real life in terms of its colorization. So we're going to take a guess. Um, so uh, anyway, let's take a look at our exterior assemblies. And this is where you're going to start to get a sense of what um, actual wall assemblies you're going to need. These are the roof ones. We'll worry about those in a little bit. Um, let's get to the exterior wall types. Where are they? Oh, yeah. No. Uh, well, uh, some, maybe, at some point. Now I'm losing where the exterior wall uh, details were. Here we go. Here's some. Um, oh, that's doors. But, uh, hang on. Windows, which also has some assemblies. Roof. Roof. Exterior walls. Okay. So here we have sort of our two primary wall types. Um, We've got a stud wall, which is these two right here, right? Wood stud with insulation. And then uh, gypsum board. This is the interior side on the right, right? That's interior, interior, that stuff. And then we have plywood and then plaster or siding, okay? Um, some things will show, others will not. Um, I don't think you have to worry about uh, the, the finer details of things at this stage, um, like that being overlapped, which you can do in Revit, but we're not going to worry about it. Um, we're actually just going to do the assembly from the slab up. Is that clear? So the important part for our modeling purposes is um, where's the plywood relative to the edge of slab? Because that's going to be our grid line that we established. Remember that? I told you to just kind of go to the exterior face of the wall for now, and we'll fix it later. Um, so the way we have those walls set up, let me go back to floor plan, first floor. Um, the way we have those walls set up is right now they're uh, core face exterior, and then um, it says, uh, Basically, it's aligned to the to the grid line. So uh, when we change the assembly, and I'm going to pick something that's hopefully if we have something here. No, there's nothing here that's kind of similar. So I'm just going to make a new one. Uh, let's do it this way. Uh, let's go to edit type. I'm going to say duplicate, and we're going to we're going to use the same kind of naming convention. We're going to say exterior, and then we're going to call it the type of wall that it is. So um, this is going to be exterior wood stud plaster or was it plaster or, yeah it was plaster right yeah plaster then we're going to edit the structure um i don't recall if the detail said exactly what size stud i doubt it no okay so let's uh let's switch that to a six inch stud um but remember the Think, you have to think of these this way, and this is hopefully a refresher for you, not new information at this stage. Um, the, the structure in the center, isn't. It, it's always just generally considered structure. The material we assign it is where it becomes wood stud versus metal stud. Is that clear? Remember that? Yes, Kevin. Okay. Well, at least Rick remembers it. Um, so... Uh, we're going to pick a wood stud material, which should be in the file, yeah. So we have our grid line on the edge. Mm -hmm. So when we change from 8 to 6, it'll, it won't decrease. Good so question. To right, it'll, it'll, it'll shrink from right to left. 
Correct. Yeah. So, uh, guys, the question was, when we change the size of the wall, will it shrink from left to right or right to left? Well, because we set it to core face exterior, and the exterior face of that wall is aligned to the grid line, when we change this thing, and I'm going to overshoot it at four inches instead, um, it's actually going to shrink towards the grid line. See that? I didn't move that wall, it just shrunk towards the grid line. So um, when we do all these uh, adjustments, you're going to see the layering sort of adjust for it. So anyway, let's go back into materials. I'm going to find wood stud if I have one. Uh, I guess I have to make another one again. Um, let's just grab softwood lumber, and I'm going to duplicate that. You guys remember that? I take your silence as a resounding yes. Yes. Yes, I remember that. So duplicate the material. We're going to call this wood stud. Make sure you select that wood stud material and hit OK. Then change your thickness to 6 inches. And I'll pause and wait for you guys to catch up before I proceed. Again. So um, <laughs> it's important for those of you who are not here. Uh, so uh, I forgot before, guys, to, to redo my uh, duplicate. So I'm going to say duplicate and call this exterior wood stud plaster. Then I'm going to edit my structure and change this to wood stud, which I have to remake now. and then six inches, okay? So, are you all caught up already? All right, I see a lot more yeses than nos, so I've got to proceed a little bit. Okay, but uh, fear not, you'll have plenty of time to catch up. So the next couple of things we have to do, guys, is uh, the extra layers on either side of that stud. So per the detail, we have wood stud in the middle, then we have plywood, which actually, in this case, is on the inside of that structural grid line. That's important. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to say uh, insert. I'm going to leave that on structure. That's critical. And then um, I'm going to say this uh, material is going to be plywood. So you type in ply, hit OK, and then change that thickness to 3 quarters of an inch. Now, which side does it need to be on? Um, it needs to stay within the core boundary, but it needs to be on the exterior side of the stud. Does that make sense? Yes, Kevin. Okay. I will again pause and wait. Indeed. Uh, moving on, guys. Um, we've got uh, a couple more things to add. We have to add the plaster on the exterior side, and we need to add the jip on the interior side. So I'm going to do that kind of you guys are used to this now, so let's just do it a little faster. Insert, insert. I'm going to move one up, and I'm going to move the other one down to be on either side. Um, the exterior side, we're going to change this material to plaster, which it doesn't have. So let's take gypsum wallboard. Let's duplicate that, and we're going to call this um, exterior plaster because exterior plaster and interior plaster are two different things, generally speaking. Hit OK. And uh, you know, for keeping it simple, we're going to just say one inch, which I think actually the drawings do say one inch, which is kind of uncommon. Usually it's 7 eighths. But anyway, um, so one inch for plaster. And remember that once you get outside of the core boundary, you need to change your, your function per whatever the hierarchy is. So this function is actually going to be finish. I'm going to leave it at finish four. Um, and then the uh, core boundary here on the back side, we're going to change that one to finish four as well. And then the interior side, we're going to change that to gypsum wallboard. So you just click on gypsum wallboard, hit OK. And that thickness is actually going to be 5 eighths of an inch. Okay, so let me just kind of recap this for you. Um, on top, we've got on the exterior side, outside of the core boundary, uh, we have an exterior plaster material at 1 inch. Then we have the uh, within the core boundary, the plywood at 3 quarters of an inch. 
then the wood stud at six inches. And actually, let, let me pause for a moment. Are you guys familiar with the term um, actual and nominal size? Yeah. Some of you, very few of you. So um, one of the weird things that you're gonna encounter when you start actually working with wood structures is that a six inch stud is actually five and a half inches. Yeah, it's just a process of the manufacturing of the wood stud. So it gets smaller. Um, but anyway, so five and a half inches is what we're going to work with here. Let's be accurate. You can type in 5.5. Um, and then finally at the bottom on the interior side, we've got finish one um, for uh, gypsum wallboard, and that's five eighths of an inch. Any questions? Yes. Uh, material for the, the first one? First one? Up top? Yes. Exterior plaster. We had to make a new one. Yeah. All right. So, guys, before I give you ample time to catch up, I just want to show you why this is important, right? So we set up this really interesting wall, and it has a bunch of layers. When I hit OK, um, you're going to notice that the wall type changes, and part of it is now outside of the grid, and some of it is inside. And when I change the visibility of this view, you're going to see that the plywood is aligned, the exterior face of the plywood is aligned to the grid, and then everything outside of that is going to be plaster. So the uh, visibility settings, you can change um, your detail level to medium or fine. That's where it's going to show. So let's go to fine. We're going to look at this here. And here's our grid line. And if you look at the layers of the wall, this is your stud layer, this is your gyp layer, that's your plywood layer. And that's your plaster layer. Does that make sense? So I'd call that a success. <laughs> All right. So um, what we're going to do, uh, just generally speaking, I'd like you guys, um, well, I'll walk you through creating the, the lap board, uh, the lap siding one um, real quick. But for those of you who are a little bit faster at this, feel free to jump into your exterior elevations like these and start swapping out your wall types. Anything that's white is going to be exterior plaster, and anything that has the horizontal um, lap siding material hatch pattern is going to be the, uh, the wood siding material. Okay, So you can go ahead and start doing that now. Yes? Exterior plaster. Uh, exterior plaster. One inch. Mm-hmm. 